Shalom, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh is the name of our Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of our salvation, is the name of our King, the name of our Lord, who's coming to redeem us, for He is our Redeemer. A harsh reality that we have to deal with the more we grow in this knowledge and this truth is that we have some critical times that are coming more so for our women because every lesson that I do is for the house of Israel specifically the elect to further edify but something that I want to hone in on on this particular lesson is a prophecy that's coming like none other right because that's what our minds should be focused on the coming prophecies which many of them are in the Old Testament but let's jump right into this this is Isaiah chapter 14 chapter 13 verse 14 and it reads like a hunted gazelle like sheep without a shepherd they will all return to their own people they will flee to their native land whoever is captured will be thrust through all who are caught will fall by the sword their infants will be dashed to pieces before their eyes their houses will be looted and their wives violated have to understand every time the scriptures talk about Jerusalem being attacked you got to remember Jerusalem is a people before it's a place okay Zechariah chapter 14 verse 1 behold the day of the Lord this lets you know this is a future prophecy I'll start again behold the day of the Lord because the day of the Lord hasn't come yet right the day of the Lord cometh and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee I mean, it's going to happen right before your eyes. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity. Since we know that this is a future prophecy I'm reading here, that's talking about the FEMA camps, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. What it means by the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. That residue is that one third out of the two thirds of the house of Israel. Of Israel. That, 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 that one third is that elect. Furthermore, substantiating that this is a future prophecy, verse four, and his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives has the Lord stood on the Mount of Olives that's why it's talking about that's why it mentions behold in that day meaning it's a future prophecy that, that's coming right let's come from here and what we have here is a prime example of a woman being ravished let me give a little um, pretext as I played before I played this video what we have here is a, is, is a, is a young Judite woman this you will as you will see is in a rough area of her city where she resides and she attempts to go to the ATM to get money out of the ATM at night and she passes by um, someone it's a man obviously that uh, asks her for money and she tells him no, but she you can see you can see she's fearful, she's afraid, but nevertheless she goes and attempts to get money, and the man assaults her. You know she gets away, she runs, but what I want you to witness here is the fear that fell upon her. This is why the scripture states that 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 women in those days will mourn, but we will get into those precepts soon but what I want you to do is watch this video very closely here because this time is coming let's get into it so I just have to record because it be so much weird shit like all these homeless people around here now and I need to just see money real quick from the ATM they don't drive an ATM at this dumbass thing because there's this weird guy in the corner Oh my goodness. No, I'm good. Oh, I don't have anything. 
as you can see, she talked about homeless people being around. There's a weird guy. I paused it there specifically. So you can see that there's someone standing there that asked uh, her for money, obviously. Let's continue on, right? If you can see in the, in the thread here, one person says, be careful. Another person says, girl, where's your boyfriend at? Um, man, it's kind of, you can't see it right now. Let me see something. I'm to, bear with me here. I'm trying to pause it so you guys can see it. Um, just be patient with me. If you can see it, it says, girl, where your boyfriend at? They be tripping out there. And again, the scriptures prophesied of this. I'm going to get into those precepts shortly. Pardon me for pausing the video, but I'm going to let it play out from here on out. Watching brothers. conversation that was going on but even these people who are in her, in her life who are of the world you know one person said girl what are you doing out there at night by yourself she had no business out there but what does the scripture say let's, let's come out of this now you all watch this video hold on let me come out of this let me come out of this here proverbs chapter 22 verse 3 the, put the prudent, meaning the wise, see danger and take refuge. But the simple keep on going and pay the penalty. I like what the New Living Translation says. A prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. First and foremost, uh, as one of her... Uh, one of the persons mentioned in her thread in her life, she had no business out there by herself, number one. Number two, you know, uh, as someone mentioned in her thread also, girl, where's your man at? You know? But let's let's go let's let's grab a few more scriptures here. But why is she out there operating like that? Because as the scriptures state in Isaiah chapter three, verse twelve, as for my people, children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. Because women are our rulers. Most of the women in our family, and I know in our, some of our circles, you can't tell them shit, man. You can't tell them nothing. You can't tell them not to go in certain areas. Look, the city where I'm from, Chicago, man, 
in the city where I'm from, I'm from that city. And there's still certain areas I've never gone into because I know better, especially of those of us who are of the household of faith. The spirit of discernment should be operating powerfully in you and telling you where you should be, where you shouldn't be. And also, the spirit is in you like, like as the scripture says, a righteous man's steps are ordered by the Lord. The Lord's going to guide us and keep us out of harm's way. But the reason she's down there, she, she also brought this scripture to pass. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 16. The Lord says, the women of Zion are haughty. They prideful. The other day I was out running an errand, man. And, and you know, you just go about your business. But you can just see the spirit that's on the majority, not all. Not all, not you, not you elect sisters, but you can just see the spirit that's on these women. They're prideful, they're haughty, they're arrogant. You cannot tell them anything, man. Even if it's for their own good, you can't tell them not to go into this area at a certain time. You can't tell them not to do this or that. They don't want to hear it. It goes in one end, out the other. Let's go from there, you know? That's why this scripture goes on to say, which is a, an, an, another future prophecy, Micah 7 and 10 it states that then she that is mine enemy shall see it and be ashamed right it goes on to say and shame shall cover her which said unto me where is the Lord thine God my mine eyes shall behold her now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets I want you to think about something man wasn't this woman trodden down wasn't she, wasn't she she ravished? Okay. They also consider this. Consider Lot's wife. You know? You're, you're fleeing destruction. The angel told you, don't look back. What did, Lot, what did Lot's wife end up doing? Hey, there's just something to consider here, brothers. I'm not saying this about all sisters, but most, man, most. You got to consider the fear that fell on this woman. The fear, right? Doesn't the scripture go on, on to say, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? This is why women have to come under the, 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 the leadership and the guidance of, of, the, of a man of the Lord. And the Lord is going to bring a horrific time like this to come to pass to put everything back in its proper sequence. To put everything back in order. How do we know? How do we know? The Lord said, when the times like this comes, he says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And what you have to understand is Ophir the, is the most precious, most finest gold you can imagine. Right? That's how more, that's how the Lord is going to increase the stock and the value of a righteous man let's go from there let's go to Isaiah chapter 32 verse 2 and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land see do you see how precious how how valuable, especially when the Lord endows us with those spiritual powers, we're going to be as the men of the Lord. Right? The Lord's going to put everything right back in its proper order. But now, certain women have to bring prophecies to pass. You know what? And many of us are going to witness that. And some of you elect sisters, if you're sitting through this lesson, you're going to witness a woman being ravished because you come under the protection of a man of the Lord. You've been serving the Lord and the Lord is going to preserve you. You got to remember two thirds of the house of Israel is going to perish. Okay? It's a hard lesson, man. It's a hard lesson. But how do we know? Let's let's get this last precept. Let's go, that, 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 that there's much lamentation, mourning, and woe coming. Second Ezra, which is another future prophecy. Second Ezra chapter chapter 16 verse 33. The virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn having no husbands. 
their daughter shall mourn having no helpers. That's the time that's coming. Okay? You have to get that in your mind. You don't want to be a woman that has not served the Lord, that has not sought him ten times more. And brothers, we want to be those righteous men that the Lord is preserving, that he's going to give, those, give us the, those spiritual powers to protect, and also the Lord is going to, going to provide for us for the time that's coming. Shalom.